What's up guys, Don here and this is a tutorial about making a full body stick figures. Now if you don't know anything about making stick figures, make sure you want to head out into my playlist and search making stick figures or anything about making stick figures actually or anything that you can think of that I might have already made a tutorial about so you don't need to ask about it now that you already know the shortcuts and ins and out now we'll go into making a stick figure but before that I want you to understand the two simple concept of making a stick when making a stick you make a segment dynamic when you want it to be movable and you make a segment static when you don't want it to be movable Next is to get into exercises. This is not really important. If you don't want to, you can skip it. But this is just so that it gets into your brain that it's easier this way than the other way around. So when you're making a stick, make sure that everything is branched out from one segment. This way, when you rotate or when you finish something and you want it to be static, you'll only need to press Shift S instead of moving the origin and pressing shift s and deleting stuff around now we'll go to the part where it's menacing how to make a full body where to start start with the head the feet the leg no actually you need to make a stick figure first a basic stick figure with a proportion that you're fine with moving around because if you don't have the right proportions you'll end up with these it's okay to just steal someone's basis if you're lazy to set your own preferences but there are also a lot of styles out there not just this one okay there's others like hips and shoulders uh three fourth heads front heads stick arms ones with hands movable hands uh, realistic or three jointed two jointed and so on and so forth it's really up to you after you made your own stick figure base, now you have to cut each segment into a separate individual stick figures and then join them back as a stick figure. Then save it or keep it in another frame and leave it for now. You'll understand why this is very important later. Next you need a transparent window software for this. Right now, there's only two softwares that I know, which is Glass 2K and Chaos Crystal, not Chaos Emeralds. Now, if you downloaded it and cry to me about having virus and blaming me because you accepted Pivot's ad offer when you can actually deny it, I don't know why you're blaming me when you're smart enough to read, you'll just have to struggle with these. Going back to making stick figure full body, take a segment or the part that you want to start with and resize it and open your edit window and make it transparent and draw on it. You don't actually need to be good at drawing because you're using mouse when you're drawing the parts on the segment. Now make sure the origin is on to the part where you want it to be connected. Usually it is on the red dot. But when you already have a lot of stick figures around and you want some parts that is detachable or not detachable and it has a lot of details on it, you can connect it to that stick itself and connect it to the actual segment. So this way you can have uh, optional clothing or not. The question is why do you resize it? This way you can get into details that you want to be specific or something like that also you won't be scared to end up with big head freaks like this one because you have your base to copy the scale for it just be sure to double click the stick double clicking a stick that has joined figures on it will select everything that is joined or connected to it now if you ask me where to start it really doesn't matter because you end up with the full body maybe it matters if you think it matters if you're making a character that has a complicated design on his hand then you probably just start off with the head or the leg and then end up with the hand but usually it's three or four parts that you can focus on the leg the hands 
or the arms, the torso, and the head. So, yeah. But if you're making something like this, then it doesn't really matter where you start at all because everything is detailed. But Don, there's still so much thing I want to learn, like how to do this or how to do that. Please, teach me. One way to actually learn is by trying to disassemble my full body sticks that I already made available for everyone to download. Or watch some of my stream and see how I solve these complicated problems. And that's pretty much it. I hope you'll still pay me to make full bodies or stop spamming my comment section asking for Goku UI. Thanks for watching.